Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Nerdy Ink Special Edition Lord of the Rings box. I just want to take a second to thank my best friend in the world, Stephanie, for getting this box for me. I was so excited when Nerdy Ink announced it and I shared it with her and she was like, I got you. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> she was like, I'm ordering it for you. So thank you so much. It means a lot. Lord of the Rings in general means a lot to me. I've yet to read the original trilogy, but I have read The Hobbit. When I was little, my dad also read it to my family like at night and it just, it holds a really special dear place in my heart. And I grew up going to see the movies and the theaters and stuff. So I was really excited for this box. It includes dust jackets, a map and some bookmarks and a book bow. So let's get into it. I'm really excited. Now I know what the everything looks like they announced it. So it's not like a blind box or anything, but I'm really excited. The illustrations for everything are so beautiful. I don't remember the artist's name off the top of my head that designed the dust jackets, but I will put it on the screen. I follow her on Instagram and she does a lot of beautiful, beautiful work. I don't know where to start. Um, let's do the book bow first that's pretty easy. So this is a two-sided book bow. On one side we have Saruman and on the other side we have Gandalf kind of like during their showdown. Again the artist is so amazing. She does this beautiful sort of like layered paper effect. I don't know if it's actual paper or not but it's gorgeous and I really like book bow. I have one of their book sleeves right now and it's it's so awesome. It's really good for protecting my books and it's got like a beautiful zipper and it's nice and soft and padded. So you don't have to worry about like your pages or your edges getting bent. Oh my gosh. And this is a really good size too. And I love the greens. It's so pretty. Look how angry Gandalf looks. Oh my gosh. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to use this all the time. Next up, we have some maps and bookmarks. The map I believe is sort of like a topographic map that also sort of charts each member of the fellowship's journey through Middle Earth through the series. So that's really cool. I have to see if I can find a frame that will fit this because it's kind of an unusual size. So that's the front and on, it says from the Shire to Mordor, the journey of the fellowship, a topographic guide. And it's got this really cool illustration of uh, the Eye of Sauron and Mordor and stuff. Oh my gosh. The paper quality is really nice too. It feels really good. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. So on one side, it has the map that says Middle Earth and it's got like a little chart on the bottom left that shows what each color like represents. And on the back, it's got like ads for all these sort of Middle Earth businesses, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. So we have <laughs> the Lonely Mountain Dragon Plush, limited edition, one silver penny, high quality handmade by Dale's Toys. I want a smog plushie. Then we have Bjorn's Bees hand salve. That's hilarious. Oh my God. Then we also have the Misty Mountain Meat Market. Open sun up to sundown. Fresh guaranteed. Now offering just like meat. I can't believe it's not Ranger. <laughs> Rivendell Lembus bread for long journeys. We have the Green Dragon Inn and Pub at Bywater. We also have the Inn at the Prancing Pony. Full pints, fluffy pillows. I think that's the inn that Frodo and Sam and Merry and Pippin all stop at on their way out of the Shire. And it's got like a little menu and stuff for them. Don't forget 11 Z's. We have quality pipe weed, old Toby. And then Gandalf's fireworks for all occasions. Disturbing the peace for generations. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Again, I want to get it a frame for this so I can hang it on the wall and admire it, but the back is beautiful too. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. And again, the paper quality is really nice. It feels really nice to touch, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but it's true. And then we also have these beautiful bookmarks, which are so soft. Oh my gosh. They have like a velvety kind of texture to them. It's very strange. I feel like you'd do ASMR with these, but they each have sort of a little clip of the the map and on the back there's a couple quotes so it's one ring to rule them all one ring to find them one ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them that's amazing oh my gosh 
I've been trying to collect sort of nicer, higher quality bookmarks, and these are these are really nice. They're sort of abstract on the front, but again, they're really nice to the touch. I wish I could describe it a bit better, but they're just so soft, which is a weird thing to say about paper. <laughs> um, but oh, these are gorgeous. All right, and last up we have the book sleeves. They come rolled up in a tube because again, they're just the sleeves. I had to buy specific editions of the books for these to fit because they were designed to fit again, these specific editions. I bought this one new because this is a fairly recent print, I believe, and it matches the size of the original trilogy pretty well. But this is The Hobbit. I feel almost a little bad covering this one up because this dust jacket is so pretty on its own, but I do want them all to match. So there's that. And then the trilogy came in a box set. I was able to find these used for a pretty good price. I think the original price on the box is like $75 for all three, which on top of the price of the nerdy ink box is kind of a lot. So if you can find them used, I would definitely recommend that. I was a little nervous about their condition, but they turned out pretty, pretty good. And even if the dust jackets had been banged up a bit, I'd be covering them anyways. But yeah, they're, they're in fairly good condition. They're not stained or anything. And again, they're also quite pretty in sort of like an old fashioned kind of way, but I am excited to put on some new clothes for them. All right. So let's get into the roll. I feel like I'm gonna have to flatten these out before I can fold them onto the books. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, just admiring them. So this first one is for The Hobbit. They have sort of perforated fold lines already. So this is gonna be what the cover is and then the inside flap. Again, I'm gonna have to flatten these out a little bit. So this is the Hobbit. You can see Smog on his pile of gold on the front and then all of the dwarves on the back and <laughs> oh my gosh and Bilbo and Gollum. And it says one ring to rule them all. Oh my gosh this is so beautiful. And then I think this is actually my favorite of the bunch just because the color palette is my favorite set of colors. This is the Fellowship. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. I love this like greenish teal color. And then you've got Galadriel and Gandalf on the back and he's fighting the Balrog. And then the whole fellowship on the front. Oh, it's gorgeous. Then we have the two towers, which starts to look a little darker, especially on the front. You've got the Witch King and the fellowship's all split up and stuff now. But now you have the return of Gandalf on the back. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but it's gorgeous. And then last up, we have Return of the King. And uh, I just, I love how these covers just really tell the story of the whole trilogy. And oh my gosh, you have, you have Eowyn and the Witch King on the back and Sam carrying Frodo up the mountain. These are such gorgeous covers. Again, I know I've said that a million times. It's kind of the whole point of the box, but I'm just so blown away with the quality of these. So I'm gonna put these on the books now and uh, hopefully show you guys what they all look like.
All right, and that wraps up that unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was pretty easy, actually. I'm glad they had those like perforated fold lines. I was a little worried I would end up ruining the covers or the dust jackets by doing that, but they did a great job. Thank you so much to Nerdy Ink for doing this box. I was so excited when I saw you guys post about it and I knew that I needed it right away. And thank you again to my best friend for buying it for me. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye. Thank you.